Everybody has psychic abilities. They either know that they do and they practice using their intuition or they're not aware of it and they think more rationally and forego this more intelligent way of perceiving the world. A lot of people think being psychic is sort of a scam or kind of a gimmick sort of thing, but really it's just your intuition. And the reason being psychic has gotten such a bad rap is because a lot of people have taken advantage of others through advertising certain services. There's a lot of people who claim that they will tell you your future and then maybe it doesn't come true or people might tell you that you have something wrong with you and that you have to pay them for them to remove a curse from you and stuff like that. There's a lot of those cases so it's probably scared a lot of people away from the whole idea or the word psychic. If you want to think of it more rationally, you can think of being psychic as being intuitive. And everybody has had instances where they have used their intuition to perceive something. We call it a gut feeling. And if you can think of it in that way, you can probably accept the idea of that more and work on developing your own psychic abilities within yourself. I think it's very important to harness this ability because the more you develop it, the more it literally becomes like a superpower and it keeps you safe from certain situations where your intuition will forewarn you whether you should go somewhere or not or whether you should trust certain people or not. It can even be extended to the very mundane things where it can be quite useful, such as when you're shopping for food and you want to know if something's particularly healthy, you can use muscle testing. Or actually just tune into your intuition, it will tell you whether something's good or bad, but that's when you get to the more advanced levels of intuitive perception. So I want to share with you five ways that you can develop your psychic abilities. The first method is sitting in silent meditation for one hour a day. Yoga and different chanting and all sorts of spiritual practices are all helpful for developing the intuition. But I feel that it's so important to sit in silence because when you're silent and you're not sending energy out or focusing on any activity, then you're in the prime mode to receive and to listen. And when you develop your psychic abilities, you're going to be mostly listening. You're going to be looking for the voice and the answer within you that's going to explain to you what it is you're seeking. I actually had no idea there was such a thing as being psychic or intuitive until I developed my meditation practice and realized that there's this infinite intelligence and it will answer you and speak to you and tell you everything you need if you just humbly sit in silence. The model of intelligence that most of us learn in school is not actually quite accurate. We're, we're taught that you have a finite IQ sort of hardware system within your mind that is how you maintain and develop your intelligence. But really, when you start understanding quantum physics and the quantum reality that everything is energy and vibration, you understand that intelligence and understanding is not finite in any sort of way. So the next way that you can enhance your psychic abilities is to detox your body. And this is because all the subtle vibrations and ways that you receive information are not able to come through when your body is clogged up with toxins and with various barriers that create a density in your body. You want to eat, try to eat as light as possible, as natural as possible, not eating preservatives and chemicals and unnatural things that interrupt the natural vibrations of the earth and eating more things that clear your body out, antioxidant rich foods, drinking lots of water, in general just eating healthy and aligned with nature because when you're aligned with nature, nature will speak to you.
The third tip is to trust your hunches. The hardest part about this is most of the time you feel like you're making this up or it's it's very easy to doubt yourself when you have an intuitive hunch or like I'm feeling like this but the logic kind of goes against it. For example, you might be thinking about someone that you like or want to date but you, for some reason you have a feeling that even though everything's perfect on paper, something just doesn't feel right. So it's better to go with those hunches because if you don't honor them, then later you tend to find out the hard way that there was something hidden or subtle that was trying to speak to you that you weren't listening to. The fourth tip for developing your psychic abilities is pretty fun. And that is playing ESP games. So. There's a really cool game that I like, it's called the ESP Trainer and the way that it works is you're supposed to basically guess behind which square there's a picture and then when you guess the right one it'll light up. It's pretty cool. Another game you can play is when you're with your friends, basically asking them to think of a color or an animal and you want to get into a meditative state first where you clear your mind and thoughts and have no distractions and then you want to try and guess what it is they're holding in their thoughts. This is probably a little bit more advanced and you might want to do later if or if you're more already sort of in your intermediate development of your psychic abilities but it's also a very fun and powerful way to develop your psychic abilities. The fifth tip is to follow the signs and the signs are basically the mirroring so you can see signs in music lyrics you hear while you're sitting in a restaurant or driving past billboards really any sorts of images or things that speak to you and this is also quite challenging because you might tend to think you're just looking too deeply into things or you're overthinking it but the more you trust yourself the more you'll know when something's speaking to you versus when you're seeking and trying to analyze and create the outcome that you want through the signs you're perceiving. So divination tools like tarot and oracle angel reading cards are really good for learning to detect visual imagery and signs. The more you have fun with this and don't take it so seriously, the better you'll be able to develop these abilities because you'll be in a higher, lighter vibration. Positive things tend to happen when you're in a positive mood and positive energy. If you guys have any experiences you would like to share, please comment them below. If you've ever had any intuitive impulses that came true or any sort of predictions that helped you understand that you have psychic abilities. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more of this content. Thanks for watching.